Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be doing Corel one more time, Corel 3C. Alright, let's get going. So here's the solution you're looking for. In these runs, we're starting at 0, 0 and going to 9, 0 and going over the barriers. But this time, the barriers have a random height. And the map changes each time. So that's a good solution. This is the bad solution where I just jump over everything. Don't do this. Make Corel go along the ground as much as possible. Alright, to solve this one, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to log into the Scratch account. Link is in the description below. Click Remix. The instructions are here. This is the link to the video you're watching. Remix instructions, which you've just done. Rename the file so it has your name in it, and save it. So I'm going to click the green flag, and click the green flag again, and when I do, you'll see that the height of the barriers changes each time. Super important. The code goes under when I receive ready, and I'm only going to use these blocks. I'm going to use my blocks, the repeat and repeat until, the if and if else, possibly the stop, and the operators. And finally, the front is clear variable. So if you remember from Corel 3A, every time I moved, I would select between move and a jump using an if and an else. So I'll make that now really quick. I'll test the move. Looks good. I'll make the jump, but before I do that, I'll make the turn right, which I need to make the jump. I'll test the turn right, and it's good. And this is what my jump looked like before. But I can't use this same jump because the height of the barriers changes. So if you'll remember, one of the reasons we use custom blocks is to turn big problems, which are hard to solve, into small, testable problems. And that's what I'm going to do with this lab. I'll take that jump, and I'll divide it into three sections. The first is to go up. The second is to go across, basically going across the barrier. And the third is to go down. Each of these parts is going to be testable, and I can assemble them at the end knowing that they work. So here jump is composed of go up, go across, and go down. And let's work first on go up. And so to help, I'm going to stop the program after I jump, and I'm going to take out all the other stuff. So I'm going to take out the go across, and I'm going to take out the go down, and just leave the go up. So I'm testing now just the go up. So when I'm going up, I need to find the top of the barrier. So how am I going to do that? Well, first, I'm going to be looking right. So I'll turn left, I'll move, and then I'll turn right. And then I need to check. I need to check to see if the front is clear at that point. In this particular example, the front is not clear, so I need to repeat these until the front is clear. So I'll get the repeat until, I'll drag in the equals operator, I'll pull in the front is clear variable, and I want to check to see that this front is clear is true. So I'm going to repeat until the front is clear is true, this turn left, move, turn right, and check. So I'm going to test it, it looks like it works. And this is how I code go up. So to finish this off, I'm going to pull the go across and add it to my jump, and I'll code the go across. And once I do that, I'll pull the go down, and I'll put that into the jump. I'll take the go down, and then I'll put that into the jump, and test that one. And if these individual parts all work, then I can feel good that the whole thing works. You break the big problem down into small chunks that you test one by one. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.